Hello Libra, this is Catherine and Tanya. Today we're doing a spirit session for you. A spirit session is something that we do for our clients to help them move forward on their ascension path and they feel a little stuck. And a twin flame union. So, um, wow, today we're gonna see what's going on with you and with any intentions that you may have set for this, um, uh, for the super pink full moon that happened yesterday but we're still in the, uh, that energy of course um, all right so we're both going to interpret this for you so our, our, the overall energy for Libra is the wishing well and that is all about co-creation mm -hmm. so <clears throat> whatever it is that you're start trying to manifest at this time what this is telling you is you have the ability to manifest what it is that you desire but you have to release and let go of how you get from point a to point you know to the final result right that's what you have to release because otherwise it will take longer you're blocking yourself mm -hmm. and with stay focused is just telling you you have to keep your eye on on the target mm -hmm. you know not all the stops in between or how to get there or what you're going to do or anything else because <clears throat> the universe is in charge of that. Yes. In other words, release any expectations that you have because those expectations are of your social conditioning. It's of your home training. Um, so those are your expectations. If you're still in that 3D mindset, you're going to be full of all sorts of limitations and judgments. And it's got to be like this. And it's got to look like this. And I don't want it to be like that. And it has to be like that. And let me tell you, your warehouse of gifts, your warehouse of abundance is so backed up. So backed up. You know, uh, the universe is just tired of putting them back. You do something that makes you feel enlightened, right? You go through something and you make it through. And then, you know, you you feel that, um, you know, a little bit of that self-love. You feel kind of proud of yourself. You know, I did it. I made it through. And, I, you know, you had that personal strength, right? Okay. So, and then that right there, um, that put your gifts out on delivery, right but you can't keep track of your package on where it is in route because this card right here I'm hearing from spirit is also meaning that look spirit's been trying to come through you know you're in your intuition that is your GPS your internal GPS right that is how you discern energy and how you you find your way but if you're still stuck in that outdated way of thought because those expectations come from that home training and social conditioning of your parents and your parents' parents and your parents' parents and their parents and so on. Because that works so well, doesn't it? Exactly. Exactly. So... Be a history student of your lineage. Mm -hmm. Because that is what you are healing. When you break free from what others have told you what you Ooh. can be and come into yourself and see what your will is. That was on a movie that we just watched. It was just so fantastic. Not what society... Exactly. Or your parents or your... Exactly, because... Your friends or whoever. Right, because their opinion and their expectations come from their insecurities in whatever they couldn't get through. Mm -hmm. So and then they're in judgment of what they say. All of that is through the ego. You are a divine light being you are made in the image of what we call our source energy of God 
are you doing a disservice to to who we all <clears throat> are and to the whole reason that you were meant to be here yes you are if you can't break free from that paradigm and move forward because that is what your purpose is your purpose is so strong especially being that you are the energy you are the element of balance of balance and if you're not in balance nothing is in balance you already know and if you have a bad day everybody around you has a bad day can't you see how all of that is bouncing off of your energy Okay, so I'm gonna let that go because that's that spirit channeling right there for you. Well, it just it describes the cards that just came out actually. Oh. So <clears throat> okay, it, this is what this looks like. You have a go you have a goal in mind, yes. right? And so the message pertaining to this, you have been working really really hard, mm -hmm. but there's just a lot of outside influence there's a lot of stuff going on and you need to take a break because you you've been working so hard you can't even really think anymore once you take that time out to rejuvenate and meditate you're gonna know exactly what it is that you need to leave behind mm -hmm. with the eight of cups because we're all get what well, we're going what you're going towards is nine of cups to a cup so it's a wish fulfillment it's a it's a connection it's a beautiful equal connection balance balanced connection and so but you're not in the state that you're in right now it's just it's too much it's not the energy of it there's a lot of things that need to be released yeah just old stuff and you, you got to do it because this is your goal. And now Spirit is saying, okay, and this is the process to get from where you are to where you want to be. Right. You need to rest. And let things go. It's that simple. It really is that simple. I don't know why we resist resist things. You exactly. Know? Like when Spirit says, just slow down and take a break, then just slow down and take a break. There's a reason. Right. <laughs> Right. It doesn't mean that you're being lazy. It doesn't mean that you're not being productive. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, that um, you need to feel bad for, for taking a break. And, and No, because when you take a break, that's when you're able to be away from everything that is causing this conflict right here. In other words, that's in your way. It doesn't allow you to see the light. This is social yeah this is all all the karmics all the karmic condition all of them all the ones throughout all of your lifetimes and they have come back and they have their wands and they want to fight you basically they want to fight you right and you've been working you know so so hard you're trying to get from here to this worth waiting for and passion and passion and divine this is a divine union here whether it's with somebody that you've been with for a long time or a, or a new person or whatever the case is, you know, you could be married, have been married for two decades and have been, you know, been twin flames and not even know. Why? Because you have to do the ceiling first. Then you'll feel it. Yeah. But you're not going to feel anything and there is going to be no connection, no twin, no divine partner unless you go through this. But the reason why... These karmics are all here because these are, it's tests. You've yes. been working. You've been perfecting your, your craft. Your craft is perfected. You've done the work. Now right. it's time to take the test and just rest. That's why it can seem that like your craft or whatever you've been working on isn't going anywhere. But it's, it is. It actually is. You just need to get out of your way and forget about what people told you that you were good for. Because uh, they don't even see what's good within themselves. That they've got to judge you. You know? I'm getting a quick message, if you don't mind. This right here on, on the release card. 
saying that it's the autumn equinox. I'm hearing that there are some of you that are in some legal battle or some or waiting for a new um, uh, home, place to live. And I'm hearing that um, in the autumn is where is whenever you're going to finally see um, see that happen. You're going to move into your new place, or the legal um, issues will will all be resolved. It'll be a big, um, you know, why did that happen? Um, because you know, and then you'll be able to see through it and release it and let it go. And that's because around this, by this time, look, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. You're really going to start seeing um, all the beautiful gifts that you've had on hold for yourself. Exactly. So when these old, these karmas come up with their wand wanting to fight you, all you have to do is remember, because you've already been through this. Right. This is the final exam. You've already been through this. And it's likely that these, these are not actual people, although it, they could be. But it's situations, it's old, outdated beliefs, it's the, anything from the 3D, from the ego, that you cannot take with you on the next phase of your life. That's and the right. next phase of your life, you know, being your heaven on earth. This has to be left behind. So whatever these ones, these karmics are for you, mm -hmm. who and whatever they are, um, you know, it's like you just dispel them, like, immediately. Like, yeah, whatever, get out get the fuck out of my way right. because I'm going to get my divine inheritance. Right. I'm going to get, I'm getting paid. I'm right. about to get paid. Right. Right. With everything. And you're about to get that new car too because I'm hearing that too. There's a couple of you have been looking at cars. There's wow. a new vehicle or a new truck and I'm hearing that don't waffle around. Trust that your divine connection, Ooh. trust in God. Oh, there's that card. Trust. Trust the signs and trust that you are going to get a good deal <clears throat> because you're worth that good deal and you're worth the security that it brings you and your family or whoever else. Maybe it's just for, for yourself, you know, alone. But I am seeing these, um, there's a few new vehicles that have been um, even test driven. Look, it's in your path for a reason. Spirit's trying to get, you know, get you ready. And the way you get ready is to, is to test drive your vision board. <laughs> test drive your vision board. That's the true vision board and that's how you create that momentum and energy to get to you you know get your heaven to you <laughs> that was a good one yeah 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 um we have the freedom card that's just that's what that is it, yeah it's freedom when you when you're in balance it's freedom because you're able to be objective at that time and you're able to to know and be mindful to know it's like picking your battles that's when you this baby babysitting gig begins you know what I mean it's like being a parent to those around you that are still asleep you got to tiptoe around just make sure they're not hurting themselves you know <laughs> Not do anything. That's right. Stupid. <laughs> it's yes, you're in control <clears throat> and you have that power, but within you, stay out of everybody else's lane. Stay in your own. So, last card we have service. You stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. Wow. Wow. That's a great reading. It says it all. It says it all. All right, Libra, thank you so much. Um, we hope to connect with you again really soon.